All right, today we're gonna to try to make ourselves an R2 unit. So this is what the little guy looks like. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna start with some primitives here. We're just gonna slap a cylinder in here. It's a radius 10. We'll do a hemisphere, also radius 10. Uh, now, oh look, it's R2, we're done. Just kidding. Okay, let's make a leg for R2. Let's go here, here, and there. Let's exit there. We're gonna edit this sketch, the polyline. Um, that's good. We're gonna bring it over and up. Yay, okay, now we can extrude that part. <clears throat> but we've also got to make his little foot itself. That's just the leg. So let's go to polyline one more time. So his foot looks like this. It's sort of a weird trapezoid. So uh, I'm going to make that and then I'm going to chamfer it. So I'm going to go here, here, here. Now, if you're saying that doesn't look like it's the right size, it's not. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably resize it. Although, look at it, it's oh, not bad. All things being equal. Okay, so let's extrude these two things and see what we can do with them. I'm gonna extrude you. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Let's make that closer to four millimeters. Well, you gonna be, no, maybe six was right the first time. Okay, let's try six. All right. All right, yeah, six will do it. <laughs> and then we'll make this one like three and a half. All right, now I'm gonna snap these two faces together to make my life easy. So I'm gonna go snappy snappy. I'm gonna click this face and then I'm gonna click this face. And voila, now we've got the two of them are snapped together. Now I'm going to merge them uh, and then resize them for my robot here. So I'm gonna go to combine menu, my target, and my source, and we're entered, and now it's all one unit. Should be. All right, let's try this one more time. We're gonna go merge. We're gonna go target. Oh yeah, it's all one unit now. It's just messing with me, because uh, that's what one, two, three design likes to do. All right, let's move you into position, shall we, friend? Okay. Glad to know I know how to use the merge tool after all these years of using the program. Okay, move this guy into position. We're going to rotate him twice. So let's pan over here. Go like so. Okay, so this needs to be rotated 90 degrees. Hey, that was pretty good. And we need to rotate him this away 90 degrees. Zoop. Oh, 91 degrees. Wow, pretty darn good for my hand. Okay, move this into position, move that into position, or rotate, yeah, we're a little bit off there. And voila. Okay, cool. So now we got ourselves an enormous R2 leg. This is R2's been hitting the weights. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna need to resize that. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to click on our leg and we're going to go to the transform menu and click scale. And we're going to use a factor of 0.5 because it looks like that's the right factor. Yep. And then we're going to try moving this thing into position. All right, we got that done. Now let's move this into place. Up and over and holy mackerel, that kind of looks like an R2 unit's leg. All right, we're gonna move this in a little bit more. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, this R2 is really coming together now. Dog on it. Okay, let's click on this. Let's go Control C, Control V, and let's move this over to the other side. Provided my silly computer wants to cooperate. There we go. Okay, so. That's an R2 that kind of looks like an R2. Um, I don't like the looks of these feet. They're way too pointy. 
Obviously, we want to chamfer those a little bit. So uh, let's start there. Why the heck not? And then we can add his eyeballs or her eyeballs. I think it's a he. I'm not sure. This maybe the destroyed is asexual. Okay. Let's go to chamfer. Where are we at? Friend, here we go. Modify chamfer. All right. We're going to go this side, and I'm going to do all four of them at the same time. So I get sort of a uniform look. There we go. There we are. Now, that is fantastic. That. All right. Good, 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 good. Let's see what else we need detail wise. He needs some little hoses coming out and he needs a funky thing on the side of his foot. Let's leave the hoses and the funky. The funky thing will be easy. The hoses um, we could probably make with a torus. Just cut it in half, cut it up. Um, but for now, let's make his little eyeball. Okay. So the first thing you'll notice about this is that uh, you've got multiple, multiple eyeballs here. So we're going to work sensors, if you will. So we're going to draw this one first and recess a uh, circle into it. And then this one we'll make out of a cone. So let's try to do that. We'll do a line drawing of that first. So we'll do polyline and we'll just draw his funky eyeball here it's like this, this, and then it kind of goes like out like that a little bit and then oh buddy there this doesn't want to cooperate here you want to go to right there there we are and voila okay cool uh, let's exit out of there uh, let's extrude this Actually, I can just put the hemisphere in the middle of it to start with and then extrude around it, can't I? So let's do that first. Let's take my hemisphere and we're going to make this radius three. We're going to drop it right there in the middle. Now I'm going to extrude this part around it and we're going to watch what happens. Uh, that didn't work. Let's try one more time. Extrude up. There we go. Ta da! You got yourselves a little R2 eye, right? I mean, that's not too bad. Do, do, do. I suppose it could be better. Everyone's a critic, okay? Fine, fine. I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to make this about half the size that it is right now. Yep, that seems about right. And I'm going to slap this guy in place. There we go. Click out of there. Move this over. I'm just going to move it up and then I'm going to snap it into place if I can. Okay. Just elevate this. I'm using my snapping tool. I'm going to go underneath here. Yeah. Boom. And then we're just going to snap it right to R2's face here. I'll zoom out and voila. Uh, or not. Try that one more time. Snappy. Snappy. A little snappy, make daddy happy. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, you wanna play difficult, that's fine. We'll move you into position because you've decided that that's the game you wanna play. Oh, we're trying to, let's undo that. It's trying to, they think they've snapped together even though they have not snapped together. So I'm gonna click undo, there we go. Because I don't wanna be moving both those pieces when I'm only trying to move one piece. All right, we're going to move this guy into position. Move you up. Move you over. We're going to tilt this guy. Oh, wrong tilt to room. Let's go back to zero degrees on that. There we go. We need to tilt. That away. There we go. That's going to make that about 45 degrees. There we go. And then we're just going to smash it into the surface of R2 here. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. We do need to rotate that because that eyeball is not, not right, is it? It's got that weird thing on the... It's almost square is the problem. I kind of goofed up his eyeball. That's okay. We're just going to 
We'll rotate it 300 and uh, you'll rotate it 180 and we'll call it a day. Okay, we're gonna click here and we're gonna call that 180. There we go, that's a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit better. Okay, so that's his eyeball. Is it kind of in the right spot? It is kind of in the right spot. Move it up a little bit more maybe. Not too bad. And I think all things being equal, that's my friend R2. Oh, I see, we need to pull that out a little tiny bit, don't we? That's fine. We'll go here, we'll click move, and we're just gonna move you up. Tiniest little bit, my friend. There we go. Still connected in every way, shape, and form, more or less. Angle this slightly more. Okay, I'm liking the way my, my friend R2 is looking here, except for the eyeball is a little bit off. So we'd probably draw that differently, given a second opportunity. But I ain't gonna do it now. We've come, we've come too far. Okay, we need two more eyeballs. Let's draw a simple eyeball. Draw a little guy. It's about right. Take this guy and move him into position. We'll extrude it first. Or press pull. Why the heck not? Okay, there you go. I wonder if snap will work for this guy. We're gonna go here and there. Ha ha, snapped it to the top of him. Okay, well that works. Let's move him, well we can move it around a little bit. Now the whole thing's gonna coast now, isn't it? All right, escape. I'll just move you into position, little guy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it needs to be off to the side and a little bit smaller. It also needs a square around it. So, let's resize this slightly. Make that about 0.75. There we go. Let's put a little square around it, shall we? Call it 0.5 because it's purely ornamental. And then we'll move this guy into position. I wonder if I could snap it to the face. Yeah, but except then I wouldn't be able to mess with it. So once again, we'll just move into position. Takes a minute, but do it like this. Okay, now we need to. So there we go. We need to rotate this. I think we did 85 degrees. There we go. We'll move this up. I'm going to move it over. Down, <clears throat> down, over, down. Okay, let's take a picture. Look at our picture. 
R2, I see it lines up perfectly. Oh, we don't need that here. 